These are bathing suit bottoms before anyone freaks out. See, they're not panties, they're bathing suit bottoms. My mother may or may not wind up hospitalized. Uh, the verdict's still out on that. But what is going to happen is my family is going to have no choice but to cut my mother off from her beloved sister who's dying. My aunt's going to die very soon. My mother knows not to call over there. And she just, she knows not to call over there after like 7.30 at night. She's calling over there too much. They are going to cut her off. Um, she's in the shower right now, so I only have a very short amount of time to tell you that I could have lied to Marion. I could have lied. Oh, I had no idea my mom wasn't taking that half pill of Risperidone every day because she, she didn't know how to cut it in half and she just, but I didn't. I told the truth. Um, I don't shy away from that. I got lectured. What's wrong with you? You knew your mother wasn't taking a full dosage. Well, you know, just because you don't like psych meds, Laura, you know, your mother needs them. I know that now, Marion. I'm sorry. You're still the enemy. I'm thinking in the back of my head, though. But I shouldn't have done that. But you know what? Marion, this was going on before I moved in here. All of this would have been happening even if I wasn't here. And for seven months, I made my life, mother's life a hell of a lot more enjoyable. Okay? If you genuinely care about me, yeah, I was wrong. In my mind, they, they over-medicate people. So if she's taking one pill, I knew she was taking her meds and she was fine. And she's taking one instead of one and a half. But, you know, that was wrong of me. But it would have been happening anyway. And Marion realized instantly when she came over yesterday, only because my mom was acting cuckoo over the phone. And Marion instantly knew that my what's this extra bottle, Samantha? There are two bottles. What's going on? And my mom confessed. Marion could have dipped this in the bud long before I was even here, right? But I'm going to be blamed. If you genuinely care about me, male or female, if you're out there and you care about me, you've watched a few of my videos, okay? Um, and you would like to reach out to me. I bought a ATT Go phone, and I have unlimited long distance. So if you have unlimited long distance on your cell phone or on a landline, so it won't cost you anything, just like it won't cost me anything, and you're willing to give me your phone number, male or female, but I'm not going to have phone sex with, with you men, okay? If you would just like to be a soothing voice, if you would like me to call you, block my number, okay? And just say hi because you want to reach out to me. Only if you, you're not going to preach to me. As long as you have no intention of trying to save me or preaching to me about God or whatnot, if you just want to be a soothing voice, I will call you. Um, if I didn't have my shelter friend, I, I wouldn't have anybody in person to talk to. I'd have my musician ex, but that would be it. And we're still good friends after like 20 long time, almost 20 years, okay? He's been there for me. We just, we can't be together, you know. Uh, Marion, they're going to blame me, and they only have a right to blame me to a point, okay? You know, Laura, you know, I, 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 I understand, you know, but, but, you know, I'm not the enemy. You, sh you couldn't pick up the phone and tell me your mom was No, I didn't want to tell on her. She let me move in here, and you let me move in here, and she'd been up, up you know, I don't like you. I didn't want to tell on my mom. It was wrong. Obviously, it was wrong, and I'm learning my lesson, and I could have lied to Marion. What? I didn't know that, Marion. She hasn't been taken for her right dosage of meds, but I'm not like that. I reveal my flaws. I don't lie, okay? I told my enemy that I'm responsible partially, but they're not going to put it blame all on me. Marion should have been hands-on here and making sure long before I was here that my mom was doing the right thing and taking her meds properly, okay? In any case, you want to give me your phone number and just tell me whatever. As long as you don't preach to me. I don't want to hear about God. I don't want to hear about being saved. Anything I've gotten that my whole life, okay? You want to reach out to me and just say, sorry what you're going through, Laura, or um, we love you, or whatever you want to say. You're willing to give me your phone number. I can call now for free. Anywhere in the U.S., long distance. If As long as I'm calling and not costing you anything, what does it hurt? 
if you're not afraid to give me your number, you can't have mine. I'm not going to give you mine. And I'm going to block mine when I call. But, And I'm not going to have phone sex with you. And don't think I'm going to be your girlfriend, you men, or anything like that. But you want to reach out, I'll call you. Um, I'm not doing very good. I can't find my kid. This is my mother. And they're going to cut her off, I'm telling you. And she's going to be saying, Laura, they cut me off from stuff. And oh, she's going to... I can't. I'm not strong enough. My cousin already told my mom tonight, I'm blocking you, Samantha. You can't be calling here all the time. I'm going to call the phone company and block you. When my mom's not sick, she knows not to call over there. She... When she's sick, I mean, she was calling me in California in 2009. She hadn't been sick in, like, over 10 years. She was calling me at 3 in the morning. Time zone difference, 6 o'clock here when she would wake up. 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, 7, you know what I mean? She doesn't understand, but her sister's going to die very soon, and my family has to do what's best for the woman who's dying. My mom, I can't control my mother, you understand? I'm not some superhuman woman. I'm all fucked up myself. You want to reach out to me? If you want to, here's your open invitation. And a couple, one of my friends, Scarvivuk or something, gave me your phone number before, but I can't go and find it. Give it to me again if you want. I'll reach out to you. I can call your landline. If you have a landline, I mean, most people don't want to give anybody their landline, you know. You give me your phone number. You're willing to not have mine. I will block mine, okay? Okay? And I will call you if you want me to. And I won't call all the time, don't worry. It could be one time thing, but I'm not gonna have phone sex with you men. I'm not your girlfriend, you're not gonna try to be my girlfriend, my boyfriend, or whatever. You try to do that, then I don't wanna hear from you. But if you just wanna say hi, if you wanna say, I like your videos, I'm sorry for what you're going through, anything. If you wanna reach out to me. If I didn't have my shelter friend, who's a good friend, we became friends, we both had nothing. Now I have money, but and she doesn't. But I would have nothing, do you understand? Nobody in person to talk to. Nobody. If I didn't have my woman that I would have only met, never would have met had I not even stayed in that shelter. She, I met her, I was there six and a half months, I met her the last couple months. Even if I hadn't had to stay as long, and it's worth it to me. And when I look about now, Six and a half months in that shelter equaled I met this woman at the very end of my stay there. If I had left earlier, I would never have met this woman. Totally worth it to me. If I didn't have her, I would have nothing. I'm sorry, I wouldn't have nothing. I'd have all you guys who care about me. And that matters more than you can imagine. Okay? But I would have nothing in person. Okay? Something's got to give. I either have to start drinking moderately again or start drinking moderately, you know, not like I was drinking before, but drinking a little bit, or preferably find a guy willing to touch me in public safely, you know, like I've talked about, where you're not going to expect me to fuck you when I first meet you, when you just want to give me some comfort, and, but my shelter friend looked, I, I said, I can't find this, like needle in a haystack, you know, because I have to be attracted to him too, you know, it can't just be any guy, and, um, we have to be compatible to a point, and, you know, and she's like, that's going to be like a needle in a haystack, she said it to me, you're not going to find that, Laura, it's going to be very hard, I know, I know. My Craigslist ad for it got flagged within a couple hours. Took it out again, got flagged again. But anyway, I'm in Massachusetts. I am not going to have phone sex with you. But anywhere in the U.S., any of you men, any of you women, you want to reach out to me, let me call you for free. It won't cost me a penny. And if you do it for a landline or your cell phone has unlimited, it won't cost you a penny. Do it if you want. I can use all the friends I can get. If you just want to say, I'm sorry for what you're going through, Laura, you know? I won't call you all the time. I won't be taken by, you know what I mean? But if you want to do that, you can't have my number, but if you're willing to give me yours, then I'd love you too. I'd love you too. That's it. But you men have to understand, you don't think I'm going to have phone sex with you and don't think I'm going to be your fucking girlfriend. Somebody who lived practically in my backyard and discovers my videos for the first time doesn't even say, you know, I like your video. What? You s I live around here. Um, why don't, you know, just because you like me, I don't, you know, I'm not going to meet anyone who knows me from this. But if you would like to talk to me on the phone where I know there's no way you can know where I am, where I live, whatever, do it. If you want, do it.